God has a perfect plan for your life. God's ultimate plan for humanity is to reconcile us to himself and to bring us into a loving and eternal relationship with him. This plan is at the heart of the Christian faith and it is what gives us hope and assurance in this life and the next. In today's morning prayer, we will explore what it means to be reconciled to God, how this reconciliation is achieved, and the promise of eternal life in heaven for those who trust in Him. Now, listen to what the Bible tells you this morning. Reconciliation with God is at the core of the Christian message. It speaks to the idea that there is a brokenness in our relationship with God and that we need to be restored to Him in order to experience true peace and fulfillment in life. The Bible teaches that this brokenness is the result of sin, which has separated us from God and caused us to fall short of His glory. Romans 3.23 However, God has made a way for us to be reconciled to Him through His Son, Jesus Christ. The Bible teaches that Jesus came to earth to live a perfect life, to die on the cross for our sins, and to rise from the dead on the third day. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus made a way for us to be forgiven of our sins and to be reconciled to God. This reconciliation is achieved through faith in Jesus Christ, which involves confessing our sins, turning away from them, and trusting in Him as our Lord and Savior, Romans 10, 9, 10. For those who trust in Jesus, there is the promise of eternal life in heaven. This promise is not just a future hope, but it is also a present reality. The Bible teaches that when we place our faith in Jesus, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit who lives within us and empowers us to live a new life in Christ. Galatians 2.20 This new life is marked by peace, joy, and a sense of purpose that comes from being reconciled to God and living in His will. Eternal life in heaven is the culmination of God's plan for humanity. It is a promise that is repeated throughout the Bible and it is something that all Christians look forward to with hope and anticipation. Heaven is described as a place of perfect peace, joy, and love, where we will be in the presence of God forever. Revelation 21, 3, 4. It is a place where there will be no more pain, no more tears, and no more death. Revelation 21, 4. The promise of eternal life in heaven is not something that we can earn or achieve on our own. It is a gift that is given to us through faith in Jesus Christ, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. This gift is available to all who place their trust in Him, regardless of their past mistakes or failures. It is a gift that is freely given and it is a gift that we can receive with gratitude and humility. In conclusion, God's ultimate plan for humanity is to reconcile us to Himself and to bring us into a loving and eternal relationship with Him. This plan is achieved through faith in Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead on the third day on the third day. For those who trust in Him, there is the promise of eternal life in heaven, where we will be in the presence of God forever. This promise is not just a future hope, but it is also a present reality that brings us peace, joy, and a sense of purpose in this life. May we continue to trust in God's plan for our lives and look forward to the day when we will be with Him in eternity. Here are five examples of plans that God has for those who trust in Him. A plan for salvation. God's ultimate plan for humanity is to reconcile us to Himself and to bring us into a loving and eternal relationship with Him. 
Those who trust in him have the assurance of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and are given the promise of eternal life in heaven. A plan for personal growth. God desires for us to grow in our faith and to become more like Jesus. This involves a process of sanctification where God transforms our hearts and minds to align with his will. Those who trust in him can be assured that God is working in their lives to bring about personal growth and spiritual maturity. A plan for purpose. God has a unique plan for each person's life, and those who trust in him can have confidence that they are living out their God. Given purpose, this may involve a career path, a ministry calling, or simply a life lived for his glory. Whatever the specific plan may be, God promises to guide and direct us along the way. A plan for provision. God promises to provide for the needs of his children. Those who trust in him can have confidence that he will supply all their needs according to his riches in glory. Philippians 4, 19. This may include financial provision, physical healing, or emotional support. A plan for relationships. God desires for us to have healthy and fulfilling relationships with others. Those who trust in Him can be assured that God is working in their relationships to bring about love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. This may involve strengthening existing relationships or bringing new relationships into our lives that align with His will. In summary, those who trust in God can have confidence that He has a plan for their salvation, personal growth, purpose, provision, and relationships. As we continue to trust in Him and follow His leading, we can be assured that His plan for our lives will bring about blessings and joy beyond measure. Now that you are convinced that God has a plan for your life, it's time to confess it with your heart and with your soul. So repeat this morning prayer after me. Dear God, as I come before you this morning, I want to thank you for your constant presence in my life. I am grateful for your love and your grace and for the fact that you have a perfect plan for my life. Lord, I know that your plan for me is greater than anything I could ever imagine. Your word says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 11. I trust in this truth, and I know that you have a specific purpose for my life. God, I pray that you will guide me and direct me as I walk on this journey. Help me to trust in your plan for my life, even when things seem difficult or uncertain. Your word says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean, not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3. I trust in this truth, and I pray that I will always turn to you for guidance and direction. Lord, I also pray that you will give me the strength and courage to follow your plan for my life, even when it requires sacrifice or stepping out of my comfort zone. Your word says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Yes, my Lord. I trust in this truth too, and I know that with you by my side, I can do anything. God, I pray that you will help me to be patient as I wait for your plan to unfold in my life. Help me to remember that your timing is perfect and that everything happens for a reason. Your word says, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. I say, Amen in this truth, and I pray that I will have the patience and the faith to wait for your perfect timing. Lord, 
I also pray that you will give me a heart that is open and receptive to your plan for my life. Help me to be willing to let go of my own desires and to follow your will, even when it is not what I had planned for myself. Your word says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Proverbs 16, 3. I trust in this truth, and I pray that I will be willing to surrender my plans to you, knowing that your plan is always better. Finally, God, I pray that you will bless me with peace and joy as I follow your plan for my life. Help me to trust in your goodness and your faithfulness, knowing that you are always with me. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. I trust in this truth, and I pray that I will experience the joy and the peace that come from following your plan for my life. Thank you, God, for your love and your care. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.